hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from brett cooper and it's titled why gen z looks so much older than millennials you guys i'm excited for this if i had to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about welcome back to the comment section i'm brett cooper if you watch the show consistently then you know that we have done quite a few episodes on modern beauty trends recently and specifically the impact that they have on young women we have discussed plastic surgery and botox and filler and heavy makeup we've discussed how women, not the patriarchy, create these trends and push women into doing it. We've talked about how harmful this is for young women. I think all of those episodes are incredibly important, especially because I know I have a lot of young girls that watch the show, so I want to make sure that that content is available for you. But today, we need to discuss what happens when these young women actually adopt these crazy trends. Do they actually look younger? Are they more alluring? Does Gen Z look the way they look because of filler? Or is it generational? Because there is definitely something going on. We're going to discuss all of that today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or one of our live streams. So recently, just in the past two months, articles have been popping up online saying the Gen Z is aging like milk. Others are <laughs> saying that. We are saying that about ourselves. It is literally everywhere. I want to show you this video, and it was the first video that really brought this all to my attention, and then I really started noticing the articles. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly That's because true. of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, yeah. while Gen Z looks way older for their age. That's if you don't believe fact. me, I'm Gen Z. I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. Tom Holland is older than me. That's you know what I'm saying right now. There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, right? I was standing for hours for this autograph. And when he walked up to me, I said, can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan, right? He then took it and put, dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, Times were way more difficult back when we were kids, am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. It, uh, Dwayne is 52. <laughs> I am 26. You, what, what I'm saying is, so Gen Z definitely wow. looks older. I'm not going to lie to you. That is the third yeah. saddest thing I've heard today. Now, obviously, that person is a man, but... The point is still the same. Gen Z is flipping out because they feel like they look older. Journalists are wondering what is going on. Something is in the water. But anyway, something is obviously going on. So people started writing about this trend. Even the New York Times jumped in. They wrote an article, why does Gen Z believe it is aging like milk? Here's another one. Is Gen Z really aging faster? And their subtitle read, according to social media, young people are aging prematurely due to their penchant for elf bars and retinol. But is there really any truth behind these theories? And then there's another. Gen Z is aging worse than millennials. Here are the alarming reasons why. And according to experts and these writers and Gen Z ourselves, this is because of a myriad of reasons. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. Some say, like that original TikToker, that it's stress. You know, we've lived through 9-11. We lived through political unrest. We've lived through COVID. We have lived under Biden. We are yeah. dealing with Biden's economy. Mm -hmm. And granted, yes, the world is stressful. We are not having a good time right now. We have to admit that older generations have objectively had it worse mm -hmm. than we have. So yeah. I'm not sure if that is really the entire reason behind all of this. I personally think that a lot of it has to do with our diet and the terrible processed foods that we are putting in our bodies every single day. Like your skin health and your radiance starts from within. I hate that that is so cliche because it is true. It is 100% true. If you are eating crap, you'll probably feel like crap. And if you're feeling like crap, you will probably look like crap. That includes the substances, you know, the alcohol, the cigarettes. My generation loves a vape. They love a good vape. That all has an impact on your skin, its elasticity, the coloration, everything. Everything that we are putting in our bodies has an impact. But yeah. one of the big things that has made us look older, in my opinion, and this is mainly for women, so not the original guy that we watched, is our makeup and our skincare. And maybe, now that I'm saying this out loud, this is just a reaction from Gen Z because they're worried that they look uglier than other generations. Who knows? We can die it all together. You can watch the episode, see what you think. We talked about this in the Gen Alpha Shopping at Sephora episode, but young skin does not need things like retinol. It does not need the majority of the heavy duty chemical products that my generation is slathering mm -hmm. on their skin yeah. morning and night and midday, whatever. But social media and celebrities have convinced women from their you know mid twenties down to girls that are like 12 years old that this is normal and a necessity that you should be spending hundreds upon hundreds of dollars on fancy skincare that you use every day and spending hundreds of dollars getting facials and procedures and all that stuff. Of course, those procedures include Botox and filler. You guys, Brett Cooper is absolutely right because the Gen Z's are looking 
much more older than the millennials because if a gen z comes out and tells me their age sometimes i find it very very hard to believe i feel that they are telling lies when it comes to their age but this is not the case the case is that they are applying so many things on their faces and also the way the gen z's stress about minor things is also very alarming things that usually do not matter stresses them out and this kind of stress level contributes to the way one looks every single day so the only way out for these gen z's to look much more younger is to stop applying these over socialized products that they are using on their bodies and also not to stress too much let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys now back to botox and filler things that i do not like as much as pure talk that is what the new york post article really honed in on they wrote while it may seem like gen zers are taking good care of themselves practitioners aren't so sure in fact starting injectables too young can affect the natural development yeah, of facial yeah. features wow whoa 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 who would have seen that coming you're injecting mm -hmm. a toxin into your skin that literally stops your nerve endings from working. It is a toxin. Imagine that having a negative of impact course. on your face. <laughs> Moment, please. <laughs> really common sense, guys. Quote, it is not uncommon to see 18-year-olds with lip filler. He added that 20-year-olds are getting Botox and filler, semi-permanent makeup in the form of eyebrows and lips. These procedures combined can make you appear older. And then actually, once you start down this route, it is very hard to go back to being completely natural, especially when the affirmations start on social media. Having these treatments before they are truly needed can sometimes make somebody appear older with an almost yeah. mask-like appearance, said Shotter, who also blamed interest in the procedure on the trendy, full-glam makeup look touted by social media influencers. And guys, the prime example of this is the Kardashians. Specifically, though, Kylie Jenner, who we're going to hone in on today. Kylie Jenner is relatively close to my age. I think that she just turned 26 this year. We even overlapped at the same LA homeschool program for a while in high school. But people online say that because of all the Botox and the filler and her, you know, puffy mask face, that she looks 40 years old. Here's a recent article from The Mirror. Kylie Jenner, 26, slammed over fillers as fans complained that she looks too old. And this was especially true in this appearance from 2023. People were shocked at the way her face looked. But she is far from the only one who has faced this kind of scrutiny and it is all over tiktok here's one example i was humbled so quick tonight i was on live with my boyfriend and someone was like how old's your girlfriend and john jokingly responds 47 and the girl comments oh i thought she was early 30s I am 23. <laughs> I mean, maybe the lesson here is just not to joke on social media, but that is a wild jump. Like her audience thinks that she is 10 years older mm -hmm. than she actually is. Somebody commented and said, I was thinking mid to late 30s. Somebody else said, I looks like a baby at 23. I don't understand what is happening to Gen Z. Somebody else said, I'm 30 and I feel like a lot of girls in their 20s look older than me. Not that they're wrinkly or anything. Yeah. I think it's just their style. No, it is the opposite of wrinkles. Literally, it is the baby Botox. It is the lip filler. They are doing everything in their power to not have the wrinkles. And that is making them look different and older. God, you're old. Here's another one that blew up and is now going viral on Twitter for all the wrong reasons. Respectfully, you look like you're pushing 45. Stop getting filler or Botox, whatever you have. It looks so bad. 45? I get like, okay, maybe like late 20s, 30s. 22, yeah, shocker. She is 22. That lady is 20, she's my age. We why wow, you guys isn't it ironic that women try to look younger and in the quest of not wanting to get old they end up aging twice let me know what you guys think about this video so far leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys we are the same age something is not adding up when i first started tiktok and started making filler videos like come get filler with me or botox I used to get these hate comments all the time. There's just people on TikTok that absolutely hate yeah. cosmetic procedures and mm -hmm. believe that you shouldn't get them. If I want to get filler, I feel like no one should stop you from getting filler because it's your own face. And that is true. It is your own body. You can do whatever you want with it. If you want to get filler, more power to you. You know, that is your prerogative. People are not wrong that it makes you look a certain way. And I don't believe I'm in the wrong for warning young women about all of these things and the actual medical consequences of getting procedures like that. This pressure to get it, especially at 22 freaking years old, it's insane. That is not normal. It is not a necessity. It has become normalized way too fast. We seriously need to like put a pause on things and backtrack a bit because looking like this at 22, and I say this with genuine kindness and whatever, like it's just it's not normal it's not i get it i look older i might act older um but 45 <laughs>
And before I used to cry over these comments and used to delete them and block the account, but now I'm just like, I just laugh at it because I know it's not true. <laughs> um, but I do respect your opinion. I feel like in that last three seconds there, she was like, I laugh at it because I know it's not true. And then there was that moment of like, crap, maybe it is. Like, I feel like she's having a realization in real time. Who knows? I don't know what's going on. Somebody commented and said, I would have guessed 45 or 46. Somebody else said, I thought for sure she was in her 40s, but just looked young for her age. What the heck is going on? Another woman said, saying she looks 45 is an insult to women who are 45 and look way better than this. With all due respect, Maybe you should not have deleted those TikTok comments and blocked those individuals. Like, they might have been rude. Yes, there are trolls online. But they also weren't wrong for saying that you probably shouldn't be getting fillers yeah. at 22. There is literally no need to be getting filler or Botox or baby Botox or any of that at our age. Your brows do not need to be laminated to the sky. And I guarantee your lashes were beautiful before you got a full other set glued on top of them. Which will only harm your natural lashes in the end. And to be honest... All of this does make women look older. This user on Twitter had the nail on the head and they said what this 22 year old and so many others fail to realize is that when they go for these trends, laminated brows, lash extensions, fake tan, Botox filler, bleach blonde hair, etc., is that they look like the old women that are trying to look young. That is the tweet right there. Like that summarizes all of this. This is the issue. You don't look more youthful. You look 40 because your face is frozen and lifted in the same way that a 40 year old soccer mom's yeah. face would be if she got those procedures. And this is one of the reasons why people talk about, you know, Botox face and Instagram face. Why so many girls online and in real life look exactly the same these days. Like I cannot tell you how often I scroll on Instagram. And these are girls that I know that are friends of a friend's, you know, mutual acquaintances, whatever. Not just the Instagram thoughts that you see. I'm scrolling and they all look exactly the same. They're sending in a group photo and I'm like, oh, you all go to the same cosmetic lady. They have literally had their nerve endings frozen in the mm -hmm. same way, in the same type of filler. They have had their faces puffed and poked in certain areas to make it look more symmetrical or change their smile. And the end result is this. They look the same. We're completely losing individuality. And yes, this end result yeah. does make you look older. So back to the main point, maybe Gen Z is aging faster. Maybe we look different because of the stress or because of the environment, our diets, but the solution is not this. The solution is not pumping toxins into your skin and slathering it on your face morning and night. That literally can only make things worse for young people. Focus on the types of food that you were eating, the amount of fresh air and sunlight that you were getting because, oh my God, that is so important for your skin. Your mood, how hydrated you are, all of that is far more important and will be better for you in the long run. In this sad, chemically driven world, that is what will make you stand out. And I promise you, it is much better at keeping us from aging like milk. Who are you guys? That was such an interesting one from Brett Cooper. And where is the lies in this video? Everything she said is nothing but the truth. I think the Gen Z should tone down when it comes to things they apply on their body or the kind of chemicals they are injecting into their skin. Because at the end of the day, the end result of all of this is aging way faster than you think. And oh my gosh, you guys, let me know your thoughts on this one. Brett Cooper really, really nailed this one. And I enjoyed reacting to her. If you guys totally enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment, share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.